Um, what I see is there's a sort of schizophrenia, perhaps you could even call it. If you see uh, our uh, policy ambitions with regards to these big themes, these uh, major societal challenges, yeah, we've, we've got the ambitions, we've got the targets, but somehow we don't succeed in realizing them. And especially if you look at uh, the planning processes on the ground, uh, um, then in those processes, the, these uh, goals and ambitions, they, everybody is aware of them, but there are just too many reasons why they won't happen there <laughs> and they won't happen here and they won't happen now. So that is something, and then there is uh, the, the suggestion of the legacy, um, the uh, sunk investments already done. Uh, the, so there's a lot of good and le legitimate reasons uh, why not to do it. Um, but if you look at the time span we have, um, then we really need to start acting. And I think there uh, our planners should take more responsibility because I think it is the role of planners in particular as a sort of warners uh, for what might happen if we don't uh, take action now. And we mm. are making ourselves, well, we, we saw some in this video, we saw some of the um, um, uh, sort of uh, fright scenarios uh, that might uh, come uh, towards us in the future. But if you think of, well, what, what will it cost to keep our cities in the future, um, it will make you think, well, are, are, are we making the right choices at the moment? And, and stopping planning processes, rethinking planning processes, that is something that is, even for planners, even though we know it, it, it is something that is very difficult and challenging to do because it's not appreciated by anyone.